guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like the last few videos I'm like, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in so long, but it has been crazy busy. So today I'm going to be doing like a third trimester recap since I haven't done like a weekly update since I think 33 weeks or something and I'm going to be 40 weeks tomorrow. So I figured I would just do a third trimester recap and go over things. I'm out of breath. Um, I have just a little bit of time to make this video because I have work in a couple hours so I need to film this, edit it, and upload it, which I think I can do. I will show you my stomach first thing. I'm not wearing matching clothes. I don't know if you can see my shorts, but this is my stomach now. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. I remember making my videos before and I was like, I don't think my stomach's growing, but there, there she is, my big old belly. So, third trimester recap. I've had, since the beginning, a pretty great pregnancy. I haven't had like any complications or anything. The only thing is for third trimester, there were some days where I was feeling kind of nauseous and my midwife told me that I wasn't getting enough protein, so I started eating more like hard-boiled eggs and I was um, throwing in some more meats too. I don't like to eat a lot of meat. I try to eat more vegan foods, but to be honest with you, I was eating more meats because um, it's just more convenient uh, with my work schedule and school schedule I just I really don't have a lot of time so I just like to throw easy meals together that was really helping so my I think it was like my blood pressure was good but my heart rate was up I was feeling kind of nauseous and then she said that I had ketones in my urine I don't really know what ketones are. I don't remember what she said, but I think it has to do with sugar or something. But so that was a few weeks ago. And then I saw her um, a week after that, things were getting better. And then last week things were even more better. So there was that. Um, now for body changes in the third trimester for me, obviously stomach gets bigger um, the pelvis area, I don't know if I'm saying that right, gets more sore. Mine has gotten extremely sore. I feel like my, um, hip bones kind of like grinding. Uh, just on the left side, I went to the chiropractor twice last week because one day I decided I was going to run for literally like 30 seconds. I ran from our dumpsters to our car. And when I say I was running, it was like power walking for every for people. <laughs> I was not running that fast. And then it didn't hurt while I was doing it, but a few hours later, my sciatic nerve was not happy. I needed help going to the bathroom, like standing up from the toilet, getting out of bed, sitting down, things like that. So. I learned my lesson with that. Um, if you haven't really like worked out or done physical activity like myself, don't don't do it. Just walk. <laughs> That's what I like to do. Go for walks and stuff. So I went to the chiropractor. He um, I don't know cracked me, and my hip felt better. And he told me to come back two days later, he because it was my first time ever going to the chiropractor, he said, since it's your first time, you need to come back frequently until things feel better. So I went back like two days later, and I was feeling fine when I went in. I had no pain, and then he did the same thing or whatever and said, oh, I'll see you in a few days. And I was like, because er, he said, after he cracked me the second time, he said, you know, keep coming back until things feel better. And I was just like, well, I already felt better when I came in today, so I'm not... I didn't go back, and now my hip um, 
was kind of hurting yesterday and a little bit today it's kind of grinding but so there's that um, when you're in your third trimester too you um, your discharge picks up so I have it every day I have to I don't like wearing pads because I don't want to get like yeast infection or anything so I just change my underwear frequently throughout the day and um, this might sound weird to some but I also don't like wearing a pad because I like to see especially now if you know things are getting to the end I want to see like if my mucus plug has come out or anything which by the way it hasn't and I asked my midwife I was like do you um does your mucus plug come out for sure before you go into labor or during labor and she was like you could see it before during you may never see it and I was like great so I've just been waiting for that to happen um I don't know if it's going to <laughs> and then I'm trying to think of what else changes I have had a little bit of swelling I was expecting because I see pictures um that pregnant women will post of you know their ankles being huge so I was kind of expecting that to happen but it hasn't my ankles just swell because I for work I sit at my computer all day so I don't really move around that much I can't uh, I have to be at my computer at all times and so it just swells a little bit but not bad my baby has been head down for ever now like months and I feel things in my butt and my vagina like movement it's really weird up in my ribs too that can hurt sometimes we're still getting a couple things around for our home birth we have to get like a an adapter thing to go onto the shower and then onto the hose. We've bought like six different kinds, none of them fit. Dom told me this morning that he had a dream last night that the baby was coming tomorrow. So he was like, I need to go to the store and go get that adapter today. I've had a lot of people ask me like, oh, are you so ready to be done? And obviously I want my baby here at this point just because I'm so uncomfortable. Like it's hard to sit because everything is squished it's hard moving in the bed but I don't mind being pregnant um, I think it helps having an easy pregnancy and you know I still pretty much do what I did before I got pregnant like physically but it just might take me a little bit longer <laughs> I have some limitations but um, a lot of people like will freak out if they go over their date their due date and I don't care if I do <laughs> this video is all over the place I feel ridiculous because I have not done a video in so long my plan and I don't hold me to this but my plan while I have time off work when the baby comes is to do some videos I plan on doing like my gender reveal um, just showing the baby, being like, here's my baby. Maybe you have figured out what the gender is. I've tried to hide it. There have been some things in past videos where you might figure it out, but that's okay. And then I'll show uh, my nursery or the baby's nursery eventually, but it's just not ready yet. I still need to get the crib mattress but that's like the last thing I want to do or need to get because the baby's gonna be sleeping in our room anyway so I don't feel like a rush to get it I wanted to get everything else like that we need right away first and yeah and I'm still trying to organize it there's just I never realized like how much work goes into having or like getting things around so I waited until I was like 36 weeks to start um, washing clothes and stuff and like you know you have to 
These are brand new clothes. So you have to take all the tags off. You have to separate them into sizes and all kinds of stuff. And it's just never ending. Yesterday I finally uh, sanitized pacifiers and some bottles and my haka and all that. But I was just like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have started a while ago. But at the same time, if you start later like I did, keeps you busy and you're not waiting around for your baby <laughs> so it helps like doing that being in school and working I'm not just sitting around like oh when's the baby gonna come like I mean I do think about it but I'm not like obsessed over it so we'll see so my due date 140 weeks to tomorrow which is the 17th but my due date is on the 18th I think that my baby will be here on my birthday which is next Thursday so crazy I always look at the clock at 9 24 even before I was pregnant all the time I don't know if it was just just because that's my birthday but I feel like either my baby's going to come on 9 24 or be born at 9 24 Hopefully in the morning, I want to have a morning baby because I want to be able to take a nap and then like later in the evening have my mom and Dom's parents and our siblings over. Not all at once though. Not all at once. That's too many people. If you are in your third trimester, coming up on your third trimester, leave some comments below so that I can talk to you guys. I know that this video is all over the place I just kind of wanted to get things out because I haven't done a video in a while and I want to be able to look back on these videos ouch I like twisted my knee so if I miss something if you have questions about anything that I've gone through feel free to leave a comment and I will talk with you but hopefully my next video is the baby video. So thank you for watching.